Hi, I'm Brian Heron, an enthusiast with flight time and twin piston aircraft, especially the 400 series Cessnas. In my experience, the Cessna 414 and 421 have distinguished themselves with their outstanding balance of capability, comfort, and safety. These aircraft are exceptionally well suited for professionals and families who require dependable, all-weather GA travel. Today, we're going to guide you through the 421C, showing the two planes we have on hand. The 421C's standout features include performance, capable of maintaining altitudes up to flight level 280 at 230 knots in and out of 2,500 foot landing strips. Range, over 1,000 miles with fuel consumption between 30 and 50 gallons per hour. Comfort, very spacious cabin featuring pressurization, AC, and seating for up to eight with a belted potty. Safety, single pilot operation and all weather with known ice and twin engines and hangar capability. Despite its impressive size, it fits in more hangars than many other cabin class airplanes. Our first highlight is November 421 Alpha Zulu, a 1978 with low airframe and engine times. It's equipped with 262 gallons of fuel, stole, and an advanced Garmin panel with the G600. Like most 421s, you can easily add an eighth seat too. Our second featured aircraft is 600 Delta Charlie, an 81 model distinguished by its trailing link gear and low times, and currently undergoing its annual inspection. The Cessna 421 was produced from 1967 to 84. The C variant was from 76 to 84 and are most popular due to significant improvements. In the C series, there's one primary distinction, the landing gear. From 76 to 79, they featured a straight leg gear. However, starting in 80 with serial number 800, they switched to trailing link gear. Trailing Link not only stands higher on the ramp, but it also facilitates smoother landings. It also typically adds about $100,000 to the aircraft's price. There are other minor changes throughout the C model, but none as significant as the gear modification. All 421Cs are powered by the same Gitzo Continental engines, with H, L, and N variants being similar in performance. 520 cubic inches, 375 horsepower, and 1600 TBO. Despite some negative perceptions, I've had a positive experience with these engines. They're geared driving a larger propeller, making cabin quieter. It's crucial to manage flights to prevent shock cooling, a common necessity for all piston twins. And while some pilots report these engines are more efficient with lean of peak operations, I adhere to rich of peak as per the book. Now RAM is popular for these aircraft, but the engine modifications don't add any performance or load capacity. The 421C excels in both useful load and range. With full fuel, it offers significant weight capacity for passengers and cargo. On our 78 model, it has a useful load of 20, 21 pounds with 262 gallons of fuel. It can transport 379 pounds for 1,340 miles. At six adults, you can expect a range of approximately 873 miles. Our 81 has a useful load of 22, 23 pounds with 234 gallons of fuel. It can take 782 pounds, 1,179 miles, or about 1,000 miles with six passengers. 421 is an excellent choice for single pilot operations, demonstrating impressive performance even on shorter runways. For a standard plane like our 81600 Delta Charlie, the book numbers indicate 2290 feet. I regularly operate out of Ann Arbor, which has 3500 feet in all kinds of weather. Our 1978 model 421AZ has the Robinson Stoll Kit, enhancing its slow speed and runway performance. This allows operations on runways as short as 1,830 feet. The operating expenses for the 421C are comparable to other piston twins. Annual costs typically $10,000 to $25,000. The most notable major recurring maintenance item is a 12-year exhaust AD, which costs typically four dollars to $6,000 per engine. Engine overhauls are currently around eighty dollars to $125,000 each. Adhering to good operating practices and regular maintenance is critical to carry those through TBO. And I have exceeded TBO on a few planes by up to a few hundred hours with good care. This 421C fits comfortably into a 44 by 38 hangar, and that's true for every C model except those with winglets, which are wider. There are many 421C service centers nationwide. 
Our 81 is currently in annual inspection at Aviation Center in Ann Arbor. I really like Aviation Center and they've worked on everything from 421Cs to Turbo Commanders for me. If you're not local to Michigan, some other well-recognized 421 shops include TAS, SNS Aviation, Air Impressions, and Corporate Aircraft. Insurance for experienced pilots can be obtained in the five dollars to $10,000 range. Most insurances look for 1,000 hours, initial training, and annual recurring for the Cessna 400 series, but that's not always the case. I completed my multi-rating and check ride at 98 hours, immediately transitioned into a Skymaster and later a 414 with only 225 hours. But don't just think you can jump into a twin with low experience. Even my training involves significant mentor time. Common modifications to the 421C include winglets, available only on the non-trailing link C models. These enhance speed and climb, but they require more hangar space for the wingspan. Strakes, which improve ride quality and slightly increase speed, but are fairly expensive. Extra fuel. You can extend the range with 421s that have anywhere from 206 gallons to 282 gallons of fuel. Vortex generators. They enhance takeoff and landing performance. Most 421Cs have these and I consider them a must have. Hubcaps contribute to improved speed and climb. Spoilers, which enable faster descents and easier flight planning. A stole kit, like the plane behind me, that reduces takeoff and landing distances. Our 1978 is equipped with extra fuel, VGs, and a stole kit, while our 81 has VGs and spoilers. Having piloted a diverse range of aircraft, from Eclipse and Turbo Commanders to Aerostars and Skymasters, I find the 421C and 414 ideally suited for my business and family needs. It strikes the perfect balance of capability, comfort, and cost efficiency for a cabin class aircraft. Our 78 model, 421AZ, is a standout for low operating hours and exceptional value with an impressive panel. It's available for sale currently. Also, keep an eye out for our 81 model, 600DC, which will be listed in the coming months. You can find our listings on controller.com.